Just too much light color. Hey, we're back with another video. Um, we're gonna do pancakes today. I'm gonna address some things that I don't like about pancakes when I order them, and we're hopefully gonna solve all those problems. Pretty simple, like standard pancake recipe, so if you have one that you like, feel free to use it. You'll see, let's get into it, let's start the video. Okay, so I'm just gonna reference my recipe here. There is one and a half cups, <laughs> fuck, one and a half cups of flour in there. We're gonna add three and a half teaspoons of baking powder. This is our leavener. So this is what'll give you the, the puff. And in here I have one and a quarter cup of milk and just one whole egg. And I just whisked it together. And we're also gonna add about a tablespoon of sugar. The sugar in the pancakes um, caramelizes, so that's what gives it, that's like how the pancakes get brown. So just mix this around really well. This egg has been broken apart and basically blended with this milk. And then I'll just go in with it. And you can do it honestly, kind of by sight, because you should know, as long as you like have your egg in there and have your baking powder in there, like if it ends up being too runny, we'll just add some flour. If it ends up being too thick, we'll just add some more milk. That was whole milk in there as well. A little bit of lemon zest in here. There's like a lot of controversy on lemon zest in uh, pancake batter, I know, but I believe in it. I believe that it cuts, especially because we're gonna make such buttery rich pancakes that it will help cut some of that. So I'm gonna do just about half a lemon in here. And then also I have about maybe like three or four tablespoons of melted butter. And so the reason we melt it and add it at the end is because this will bind with fat now. Like you could add oil in here and it won't separate because flour is our binder. So we're gonna add a little bit of butter. If you put melted butter, let's say just into the liquid, especially because it's cold, it will just clump up and sit at the top and you'll have like cold coagulated butter at the top of your batter. Don't worry if there's still some lumps in there. If there's big ones, worry about it, but yeah, if it's a little bit lumpy, that's totally okay. We're gonna take our pan that we already melted butter in and melt some more butter in it. And we're gonna make a little maple butter sauce. One thing I don't like about pancakes is, you know, you get like a stack of however many pancakes and then there's like butter sitting on top. There's cubed butter, there's maple syrup, but it's like, and I love those flavors together so much, but you're waiting for the butter to melt and you're like, oh, the pancakes aren't really hot enough. And then also it's only on the top pancake. So like, it doesn't taste good all the way down the stack. That top one is always the best. And then you're like asking your server like, hey, can I get some more syrup? Cause like, these are dry. We're gonna make the maple and the butter and we're gonna combine them and, and emulsify them so that they're just one sauce, they're one thing. We don't gotta wait for butter to melt. We're still gonna have the butter flavor. Should turn out, I don't know. I've never made this before, so. I'm freestyling this one today, kind of based off another recipe that I've done before. So take like, yeah, probably four tablespoons of butter here. We're gonna melt that. I don't know how much syrup this is. Half cup. Oh, it's really seized. Ugh. What the fuck? Oh, I got it, I think. So preheat our pan for the pancakes as well. Pancakes you do not want to do over too hot of a heat. You want to do 
about medium-ish, uh, venturing on the side of medium-low, I would say, but medium and really preheat that pan. You don't want to put pancakes into a cold pan or they won't get that crispy edge. The way that you get the crispy edge is you need fat. So the other thing I don't love about pancakes, I'm just gonna take some, uh, some old oil because I only have olive oil if I don't use this. So this is canola oil and I'm just gonna put a tiny bit in there. So it's sitting down in your cupboard? Well, because it's from when we deep fried. And I'm not gonna throw out that oil. That's, I meant to strain it and put it back into a container, but I haven't done it yet. Yeah, so this will just keep the butter from burning. You wanna put some butter in there. Yeah, so people will cook pancakes in so little fat. You've for sure seen these, especially at restaurants, like especially like a shit restaurant like Denny's or like IHOP or whatever. You go and the pancakes are like just put on a dry griddle and they're just like, I don't know, there's nothing really to them. The best pancakes I've ever had have that like ring around the outside where it's like so, so crispy and so good. So we're gonna do that to every single pancake. In order to do that, you gotta use some fat. So these aren't gonna be that good for you, but you know, once in a while, why not make the best pancakes in, in the world? Maybe not the world, don't quote me on that. I don't know people coming for me being like, fuck you. Whatever, I believe in these pancakes. I believe in this technique too. So while we wait for that, butter to start to foam up a little bit to cook our pancakes. We'll get going on this sauce. Butter's melted, starting to foam. I'm gonna add like, well, honestly just, I may as well just make it all. We'll call that half a cup or so of maple syrup. So honestly, that would be really good if we just poured that over the pancakes. But as you can see, the butter is separate from the maple syrup. So we want those to just bubble a little bit. We're gonna add uh, like 35 or I guess this is 33 but uh, whipping cream and then our sauce will just be this nice like maple butter cream sauce. There we go our butter's foaming. I'm sure everyone knows how to cook a pancake but put it in the pan with a ladle or a tablespoon if you don't have one. The telltale sign for a done pancake is you start to see the holes, you give it a flip, you cook it for you try and time that a little bit in your head um, and that should be like 50% of the way cooked. And then so if that took a minute and a half, let's say, then you cook it for a minute and a half on the other side as well. We're bubbling here. So I'm gonna add like, not too much, maybe like a quarter cup or so. I'm just gonna whisk this together. It's all one thing, but it's not that thick. So we're gonna let it cook out a little bit. You don't wanna take the heat too high on this. When you have something, especially butter that's emulsified, you take it to too high of a heat and it will break. So you wanna do it like, we're gonna do it over medium, let it thicken just a little bit. It's gonna take us a few minutes to cook our pancakes anyway. With pancakes, uh, I also think people do them on a like such a low temperature with no fat that they don't get enough color. They're like this really pale shade of brown. I kind of like them like verging on the side of too dark. I'm gonna say that and this isn't gonna be dark, but we'll see, this is the big reveal. Also, if you have like a proper flipper, that's better. Yeah, that's how I like it. Crispy edge, nice and dark. That sugar that's in the batter is caramelized. So with, with our finished pancakes, you, you want to put them like on a tray. So if you go like straight to the plate and start to stack them, by the time you're done cooking the rest of the pancakes, the rest of the stack, like they'll all be sitting on top of each other, making them soggy and you'll be losing that crispy edge that we worked so hard for. I just lay them all flat until it's time to plate. Even, I don't have a wire rack, but if you have a wire rack to keep them off the ground, that would even keep them crisper. I'm still freaking pancakes, but uh, just got my Amazon delivery. So this is turning into an unboxing. Epic. Okay, smaller than I thought. Probably should have measured. Okay, there it is. Freaking A. And it comes with a pen. And it comes with double-sided tape and a magnet. Yeah, so this is a whiteboard, so I can write what YouTube videos I'm doing next. Literally, the guy just walked up as we're filming, so... If you guys want a review of this product, just leave it in the comments. Works pretty good. That's Brendan's Instagram, filmer. Go follow him. Let's see if the eraser works. Ooh, damn. This is kind of buttery. A little bit of residue left. You can still see that it said your name, but whatever. $11, you know? Okay, so we're cooking the last pancake. Well, the last for the video. Yeah, I might eat a couple more. We'll see. Let's see if we get this out of here for plating. I also didn't 
end up showing the sauce because the Amazon guy came and screwed everything up. So, but yeah, I just cooked it till it was thick. It was almost thick, I think, when I showed it last. Um, and I just put it into a container. We got our nice, dark, crispy pancakes. This thing's hot as shit. So plating pancakes. So the reason I did them all like this is because I want to plate pancakes so that they, not just the top one, taste good. Like I want them all to taste good. Spoonful of sauce. Another pancake. Spoonful of sauce. Spoonful of sauce. Last one. Spoonful of sauce. I'll load this one up so we get the pool over. We really wanted to run down these cakes. I'm of course gonna finish that. Finish this with some flaky sea salt. I love salty and sweet. So just a little bit of quality sea salt. Just a little bit of lemon zest as well. And to me, that is a stack of pancakes. I'm not even joking, those are the best pancakes I've ever had in my life. Like for sure. I thought the sauces like and putting it that way. I came up with this last night and I thought maybe this is a stupid idea. This is literally the best thing we've ever made. I'm gonna eat one more bite before I do this outro. The lemon is like the lemon is essential and the sea salt is essential, but like the layer of sauce all the way through is just like let me know if you guys like that video. If you wanna see more breakfasty stuff, if you wanna see sweeter stuff or if you like like desserts, I'm not amazing at desserts. Definitely know a thing or two. I know my way around a little bit, so um, yeah, whatever you guys want to see, let me know. Appreciate any support you can give us by doing any of the YouTube stuff. And yeah, that's it. Do I have anything else to say? That's it. Pancakes and maple butter sauce. Yeah, I hope you guys make it. And if you don't, I'll see you in the next video.